You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, Ask Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviewers on YouTube? This is Original Big Bri here. Welcome back to another NASCAR Authentics Diecast Review on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be doing a uh, really cool card that I just got recently at my Walmart from Wave 10. And you guys probably might know what car this is because this is probably going to be one of the most highly anticipated cars for Wave 10 because it is an exclusive car and you can't get this car anywhere else besides this Wave. So without further ado guys, we're going to do the NASCAR Authentic Sidecast review on Ty Majeski's number 60 iRacing.com Ford Mustang for Roush Fenway Racing. This is a wonderfully cool looking die cast that I got from my local Walmart, priced at $4.94, along with the other cars that I did pick up from week 10. Did not pick up the whole weight, but I do got some to show you guys. So right there, we got the car and the new uh, sticker that we got. So we'll be looking at that very shortly with that new uh, um, accessory that we got for this wave and from all the others. And like usual guys, here is the um, back. Here's the background for the, um, for the back of the packaging you see right there there is the uh weight there's the whole weight right there for weight 10. Uh, feel free to comment below which cars you guys would like to see me review and uh some of these cars i might already have and some i might go ahead and have to pick them up again so but um and there's the um, you know licensing and all that other uninteresting stuff but without further ado guys we're gonna go ahead and unbox this bad boy and we're gonna take a closer look at the ty majeski i racing car all right, buddy, we got this Diecast Outfits box, and this is going to be a really cool review. I'm excited to bring you guys this Diecast review of an exclusive NASCAR Authentics Diecast. But before we do that, guys, like always, we're going to look at the little accessory, and it is... Um, it looks like a magnet, but it's not. It's actually a sticker, guys. So, uh, but uh, before you guys go ahead and start complaining, that Lionel has got very cheap. And I will have to admit, these stickers do feel pretty cheap, but they got a nice gloss in them. Don't think any of the uh, decals will probably rub off forever. But, um, Winter Circles used to do this back then. They used to have um, some nice, shiny uh, um, stickers that came with some of their diecasts. So, that's kind of cool that NASCAR Authentics and Lionel, as I could drop the sticker because it's very thin. I mean, it's thinner than sheet paper. So, hopefully, I will not get a paper cut during this diecast review. Otherwise, that would suck. But back to Winter Circles, guys. Yeah, they did actually uh, had stickers back then with the diecast. So, glad to see Lionel Authentics brought that back. But, um, however, though, guys, we are not going to be looking at a sticker. You guys came for the diecast review. And this car really had some interesting history to it. Well, first, let's talk about the diecast history, then we'll talk about the driver. As first, I want to point out, no Xfinity name banners and the Xfinity banner on top as well. So that's pretty usual for all the diecasts that we got for NASCAR Authentics for 2017. Who knows, maybe they'll change in 2018. It's also on the uh, Ford Mustang body, as my camera does not want to focus. Um, so they have not updated those. Maybe for 2018 they will. But as far as I know, on the diecast renders, they haven't. But um, let me tell you guys a little bit a rich history about this uh, diecast. Uh, well, this is the first that we got for Ty Majeski's, so it's pretty cool. And um, you guys are probably wondering who in the world is Ty Majeski. Well, he started out as a uh, as a late um, off-road model driver, I believe. As my camera does not want to focus on this car, that's really bad. Uh, wow, I do apologize for that, guys. I know you guys want to see this car, but my camera does uh, really wants to refuse focus on it, uh, focusing on it. As I just completely just uh, contradicted myself right there. But yeah, time and Jesse start off. Uh, you're racing in late models, and then he worked his way into i racing, and that's what got him to stock car racing. Um, this is just a brief history for uh, about uh, you know Ty Majeski, and um, that's how he acquired the sponsorship because I Racing uh, you know um, you know liked uh, liked him a lot, and they were able to pick up uh, a really loyal sponsorship with them. I think he's had the sponsor for about three to four years now in his racing career, um, and it's carried him over to the Arca series. He made some starts in Arca for. Um, a couple races and then he ran a couple starts this year in the Xfinity series which he debuted this car at the Iowa race which he ran pretty well in this car I, I will admit you know um you know this is another rising star well this is, he is currently a development driver for Roush Family Racing and um it's really cool seeing the 60 car back uh, we haven't seen uh, this type of 60 return since, um, you know, Chris Buescher. But you guys know 60 is such an iconic number in um, the Xfinity series. I mean, dating back to where Greg Biffle and Carl Leverage drove this car. And now we got, you know, uh, <laughs> you know we had uh, Trevor Bain and um, uh, um, <clears throat> so many other iconic drivers, like I just said, Chris Buescher and now Ty Majeski you now fill into this role. Travis Pastrana as well. But those are just an, uh, a few guys I need to name as well. But, yeah... 
but like I just uh, was recently talked about this car, he ran this car at Iowa, and he ran pretty well in this car. Uh, but unfortunately, um, he crashed in this car, and he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. You guys know what happened with um, Kyle Benjamin. He got loose um, coming into one of the um, uh, coming into one of the turns, ran up on the high side, and just completely lost control of the car and slammed right into Ty Majeski's uh, front fender on his uh, passenger side so yeah and that uh i think that kind of ruined his day right there but still a pretty cool looking car regardless and what's really interesting about this car is that this car was originally on pre-order in the 164 scale for the gold series like you know you guys didn't know what the gold series are there's a little off uh, that th these are you know the cars that lionel sells at the local diecast dealers they're in the little boxes and they're very easy to collect and you know they're you know t don't re really take up that much space not uh, not like nascar authentics which i love collecting those i've been doing it ever since i was a child and still love doing these and i love doing these diecast reviews for you guys and i'm glad you guys enjoy them but yeah this car right here did not made on the pre-order list it was a dnp the 124 was made but then, however though roush Trainer racing decided to go ahead and give this car another try and it failed again however though before they went and put this up for a second time on pre-order because they wanted to give this another shot a lot of people are asking if this car was gonna you know make an appearance in nascar authentics and usually lionel's very secret with you know keeping secrets and all that but they really spoiled the beans on this one they literally just came out and said, yeah, that this car will be in one of the waves. Little did we know that it was going to be on the final wave of 2017, which I believe wave 10 is the final wave for 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Then again, I could be wrong and we could have a wave 11 just come out by the time I upload this video. However, though, weather regardless, uh, you know, the, the, with, with, uh, with, with what this diecast has to offer, I say this is a really cool looking car. I love the colors, you know, the the, uh, the paint scheme is really cool. I mean, it's based on the iRacing colors, and they go perfect. I mean, I know there's not much sponsorship on this car, but it's really cool that we got another Roush Brandon Racing car to go with, uh, other, with the other Roush Brandon Racing cars that we have in our collection. Um, I believe this is actually the first year we got every single Roush Fenner Racing car producer this year because we had Ricky Stiles Jr. We had some Ricky Stiles Jr. diecast like his Sunny D car, and then we had some Trevor Bain diecast. Um, like we have his John's Throwback car in this wave and his Advocare car, um, and then we got what the three the uh, three other Xfinity uh, Roush cars that we got for this year. We got the two Ryan Reed cars, the Daytona win, and the Darlington Throwback from last year, and the Bubba Wallace Darn Throwback. So really productive year for uh, Roush Trainer Racing and Diecast and uh, I'm hoping that's going to continue and hopefully we'll get some more cool looking cars. I would like to see the Biddle Honey car if they can somehow get that produced for um, the next couple waves or maybe for 2018 depending how you know much of a seller this car hits which I feel like it is because like I just said this car is one cool looking car and this is the only way you can get this car in the 164 scale but what more do I gotta say about this car I say you guys need to go out and get this car it's a great addition to your collection and for any guys out there who want to start a collection for Ty Majeski depending how successful he's going to be but so far it's looking great for him and hoping this kid's going to have a nice bright future but for now, guys, this has been a NASCAR Authentics Diecast review of Ty Majeski's 2017 iRacing.com Ford Mustang for Roush Brandon Racing. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give a good comment, like, and if you guys have not already, I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel for more of the latest NASCAR Authentics Diecast reviews, Diecast news, and many more NASCAR Diecast stuff to come. But until then, guys, this is a Riz Big Bro. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in another NASCAR Authentics Diecast review.